Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am Doc Luxury and I'm here with another video. This time I got a request from the fabulous Marilyn. Um, she goes by hey underscore mar underscore on Instagram and she asked me to do, to do a review on the Louis Vuitton round coin purse and the um the sunglass pouch mm so yeah stay tuned to see what i have to say about these two items So the first item I want to review is this one right here, which is a round coin purse. And to be honest with you, I have never used it for coins um, <clears throat> because the inside, it is lined in leather. And I've had um, the key clays that were also lined in this um, particular leather. And I know that the coin residue just attracts to this leather and it turns it um you know black and so i did not like that so i did not you i do not use this for coins what i have used it before were for headphones and let me give you an example i have a pair of headphones here and these are bose headphones doesn't really matter what brand they are but it just works so perfectly because the when you coil the cord around, you could basically, um, you know, fit it right in there and it fits, you know, nicely in there. Now, I have gone away from using these corded headphones to using my Apple AirPods. And so I have stopped using this piece and I haven't decided yet if I'm going to sell it, but um, yeah, I'm going to keep it for now. Uh, as far as more about this piece, so there is, um, I mean, as you can see, it is in that monogram canvas. There is a little leather um, strip right here, and it has started to turn just a little bit, but it is still a nice light um, color, if you can see. Anyways, you can see that it's not, you know, dark brown yet. It has gold hardware, and so far, the hardware has not started to um, tarnish or scratch or anything like that. Like I said, the inside is in that um, brown leather, and this one was made in France. And let me see if I could find the date stamp on this thing. I remember I got this in California when I was visiting my family for Christmas break one year. Okay, so I did find it in the corner here. And the date stamp on this one is, oh my goodness, um, can't really see it. It is TSA, I think, and then 4153, which means that it was made in the 45th week of 2013 so oh my gosh i've had this for quite a while now close to um four years and yeah i think i just love it i mean so chanel has recently come out with a round coin purse of swords but that one i'll show it to you right here it's not completely round and so that's one thing that bothered me about that piece and so i have not gotten that piece i just love how round this one is and yeah there are other versions of this that are not currently offered so there is a groom um collection version that has an orange um painting of a groom or a groomsman or a, a bellboy and I know that one in particular has a chain, like a, a keychain attached to it, which this one does not. There's also, you know, the Ceres, the Cherries one, and I'm sure there are other um, versions as well. But this one is currently the one that is offered in the store. And give me one second, I'll, I'll tell you what the 
Retail price is round coin purse is two hundred and sixty dollars. All right, so there you go with this piece. So this piece does not fit a credit card, and I would not use it for that purpose anyway, just because it's not rectangle, and credit cards are rectangle, and there are plenty of items that are rectangle that you can use for credit cards, and I would not try stuffing a credit card in this one, even if it was big enough to be able to use for it, because I know some people do use the Chanel um, round, round coin purses, for their credit cards and I know they have to like you know just jam it in there and position it just right to be able to close the zipper it's like get something else anyway so that is if I would recommend this piece I would highly recommend this piece because it is very functional and it is um, you know a nice SLG to be able to put in your handbag and it fits in pretty much any handbag that you have and as you can see it doesn't take up a lot of room and yeah, a lot of people do use this as a coin purse, as its namesake is, but I just don't. Alright, the next piece that I have is my Chanel, I was going to say Chanel, my Louis Vuitton Sunglass Case MM. So this case comes in, I don't think um, the smaller version is currently available to purchase, but this one does come in a smaller size for reading glasses or, you know, prescription eyeglasses, but it's not offered right now. This is still being offered. I know it's still um, probably a little difficult to get. And let me see, since I have the Louis Vuitton site on my phone, let me just figure out how much the sunglass case is. Okay, so I could not find this item on the Louis Vuitton website, um, but I did find um, a listing on the real real that the retail price of this is $280 and Yeah, so maybe it's not even offered anymore for for sale And so if you can find one, you know definitely get it because it's very handy and Let me just go over this with you. So I currently use a baggie that came with my sunglasses for using inside of here because so the inside is in that Alcantara material It's very soft but as everybody knows who's ever owned sunglasses sunglasses tend to get dirty and you know that's just from you know sweat that you know happens or dust or anything else and when you put your sunglasses in here chances are that it will clean your sunglasses and deposit you know great all the grease that came off of your face and all that stuff onto this material and yeah good luck trying to clean that and so I have used you know the baggies that come with sunglasses this one in particular came from Maui Jim which by the way is one of my favorite sunglass makers and the current sunglasses that I have in here are my Chanel Runway sunglasses. And as you can see, these sunglasses are fairly large. They are not that thick, or not that, yeah, thick. See, they're really skinny, and they fit perfectly in here. And I just used another baggie to, um, you know, use here just so I can protect the lenses from the tips here so the lenses don't get scratched. I'm, I'm just really anal about these sunglasses because I don't want them to get ruined because I love them and yeah I know these are really hard to to come by and so if I did ruin them I know I wouldn't be able to replace them. So yeah as far as a review on this piece let me get put those down there is no um, leather trim there is glazing though and the the biggest problem with these cases is the glazing that is around this area right here the, the flap that goes on the button because with extensive um, 
let me see if mine so mine don't doesn't have a problem at the moment but i know a lot of these do have that issue with continued opening and closing and a lot of people even don't button this and so it doesn't put stress on that on that hinge or on that corner basically but yeah, i have not had any problems with the glazing with this item and let me just see what the date code on this one is just to give you a a sense of how old it is so this is sn1146 and so that means this is from the 14th week of 2016 and so this is um, a couple years old and yeah so i have not had any problems i do use this in my bags every single day and yeah i just love it it also comes in the um ooh, i almost forgot to put it in this case it also comes in dami azure which is now discontinued and so the only way to find that one is through the pre-loved or resale market and you know perhaps maybe this one is on the discontinued route as well um what else can i say about this item so i really prefer this item over the traditional hard cases that sunglasses normally come with because this is a very thin profile and this is the current bag i am using and it fits perfectly in here and i know i wouldn't be able to fit a larger case in here as you can see it fits right there in the front just fine and whenever i want to take it out i just shimmy it out so yeah that's i guess if i recommend this piece i definitely do like i was saying as far as the difference between this case and the hard-sided um, clamshells that sunglasses normally come with those clamshells yeah they're not um you know some of them are humongous and so this one is the the canvas is um thick enough to be able to withstand any i guess crushing you know minor crushing of the sunglasses i mean if i do put a lot of pressure on these it'll definitely ruin my sunglasses but it's sturdy enough to be able to protect them um you know just fine so i definitely highly recommend these and if i ever do find one in the uh, dami azure print i would definitely try to get that one as well i wish louis vuitton um came out with one in like an epi leather or something that would be just awesome but unfortunately they have not um yeah, so I guess that does it for this video. Stay tuned for more videos. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, just remember to be you and stay confident. Take care, you guys. Goodbye.